to be a wizard, a soothsayer. Disney has a lot of great characters through the years, and dozens and dozens that I cherish and adore. But when it comes to my personal favorite Disney character of all time, that can only belong to one. And for me, there's no doubt. It's Merlin from the 1963 The Sword in the Stone. No, Webber, well, uh, don't, don't you get any foolish ideas that magic will solve all your problems. Now, there has been many adaptions of the character. Some are okay, and some are really good, that I highly enjoy. He's a wizard. He doesn't look like much of a wizard to me. I never did anything to you. Why do you want to cut my throat? But on this Merlin tribute video, I'm just going to be focusing strictly on the Merlin from the 1963 The Sword in the Stone. The film came out during my favorite Disney era. The 101 Dalmatians, The Sword in the Stone, and The Jungle Book are three of my all-time favorite Disney movies. No time to explain, I'm afraid there's trouble. Big hullabaloo, come along. Oop. Oh, you see, I'm an ugly, horrible, grouchy old man. The film script was written by Bill Peet, who would not say at the time, but later came out admitting that he incorporated some of Walt Disney's own personality into the Merlin character. He even used some of Disney's personal features for the character. And looking at Merlin and Walt Disney side by side, you might be thinking, well, how so? Well, I guess mainly he just borrowed Walt Disney's nose for inspiration. Voicing the character would be a very skilled radio voice actor from back in the golden age of radio. Merlin sets out to educate a young Arthur Pendragon. And it's that mentor and student relationship that they build that comes off as kind of sweet. You feel that Merlin really cares about his young pupil. This is something I enjoy watching. You are unique among your brothers. He also has a sidekick named Archimedes. A highly intelligent owl, I'm guessing he got this way because Merlin educated him. The Archimedes character is also extremely funny. Pin feathers and... The relationship between Merlin and Archimedes is one of the best things about this classic movie. Flying is not merely some crude mechanical process. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I happen to be the world's most powerful wizard. Merlin is of course the most powerful wizard in the world. With the ability to time travel, make inanimate objects come to life. When, when, lost it all, when. Dispel magic with a simple alakazam. Alakazam. And he can also shape shift into any animal. This is what really sold me on the film as a kid. I loved animals, still do. And the idea of having the magical ability to turn into any animal is just amazing to me. These were, and still are, my favorite parts of the movie. Especially the wizard's duel, where Merlin ends up in a duel battle with Madame Mim. And during the duel, Merlin changes into several animals. Just a minute. This is... Merlin is also a very wise old wizard but can be absent-minded and a bit clumsy. He can also be a grumpy old man, who can be short-tempered and argumentative. I personally love his rants, especially the ones about brain over brawn. Science indeed. One dummy trying to knock off another dummy with a bit of a stick. The Disney Merlin character has made several appearances outside the Sword in the Stone movie throughout the years. In such Disney projects as House of Mouse, the Sophia at Home with Olaf, and he also appears in his fish form in the wonderful world of Mickey Mouse. Merlin also makes some appearances in some video games, The Kingdom Heart, and Disney Dreamlight Valley. 
When it comes to the merchandise, well, sadly there's not much. There's a Funko Pop with him and Archimedes, a Merlin plushie, a few different pins, a very rare statue figure, and a coin purse. And that's pretty much it. When it comes to the Merlin character, there's absolutely nothing I dislike. It's the heart of the character and how he truly cares about Arthur. And I find him to be hilarious. Between him and Archimedes, I laugh harder than any other Disney movie even to this day. The grumpy side of him is something I also enjoy. I've been known to love grumpy characters, even though I don't really see him as an all-around grumpy character. He's a character that can be grumpy, but he's much more than that. I love how at the beginning of the movie, Merlin is complaining about the Dark Ages. A Dark Age indeed. Age of inconvenience. And then at the end of the movie, he comes back from the future complaining about the future. Leave me, you can have it. One big modern mess, a la Kazam. That's just classic Merlin. Even his sometimes clumsiness plays into the type of humor I really enjoy. And the whole wizard magic turning into animals, brain over bronze, the absent-mindedness, plus he's also a time traveler. To Bermuda. Yeah, you can say I'm a fan of all these things. Everything about the character is truly what I like, what I am, and everything I inspire to be. Well, minus the absent-mindedness, except I really do enjoy watching it and find it to be really funny. Castle? Castle? Don't you even remember the boy? Uh, the boy? Uh. So here's to Merlin, who to me is not just the greatest wizard of all time, but also the greatest Disney character of all time. To Merlin! May your amulets never tickle. Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, I say that's very good, boy. Very. Oh, 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 oh.